Ooh, what's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's my brother 19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Ooh, we hope everybody had a good day. Hope everybody had a blessed day. Hope everybody's doing good today. <clears throat> Real quick, you guys, if you're going through a bad patch in your life, please understand some God loves you and he cares about you. Okay, cast your cares on Jesus because he loves you. If you just lost a loved one, please understand they're in a better place. They're in the hands of Jesus, you guys. It's not no religion. Okay? Make sure, you guys, and everything, that you give God thanks for every day you wake up because nothing is promised. Okay? Keep the drive alive. You keep the dream alive. Somebody gave up on you. Somebody walked away from you. Somebody told you that you're never mounting anything. Please understand some they ain't Jesus. They can't speak for Jesus. Jesus knew before he knew who you was before he formed you in your mother's womb. He got a purpose for your life and he got a blessing for your life. So stay motivated, you guys, and stay in, stay in the game. <clears throat> God got a blessing with your name on it. Your harvest is coming. Your blessings is coming. Your healing is coming. Everything. Just stay in there and hang in there. God loves you and he cares about you. He died for your sins. And everything. Just hang in there a little while longer and he gonna show up and show out. In Jesus' name, amen. Alright, you guys, real quick and everything. Your first time tuning in on my channel and everything, please understand some I talk about real shit on my channel. Okay, I'm here to uh give you practical, you know, principles about life. I'm here to spit real shit to you, not bullshit, okay? As they say, uh, excuse me, as they say and everything, literally leave the bullshit at the door. Okay? I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm here to be honest with you. I'm here to challenge you to be a better man or better woman. I am not here to judge you. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life and everything. But I am going to give you information and everything that hopefully I might can help you, even if you're dealing with it right now yourself. Okay? I have no heaven or hell to put you in. That is up to us between you and God. Hell, I want to make sure I get to heaven myself. But at the same time, I don't want you to get to heaven and you watch my videos and you say I didn't know no better. Say that some uh, big head black man told me and everything that what I'm doing ain't right. So I'm just going to let you guys know that and everything. Somebody said some negative to you about my channel, please tell them to go straight to hell. Because I ain't got time for negativity and everything. If they don't like it, don't watch it. But I'm here to spit what's real and what's truth. All right, you guys. Excuse me. Real quick and everything. I will, the title of today's subject and everything is called The Joke is on You. I repeat. The joke is on you. Please understand some of you guys and listen to me well and everything. This life, like I said a million times before, this life is short and everything. You're not promised tomorrow. It's nothing guaranteed in life. You can be here today, gone tomorrow. You can be rich today, poor tomorrow. Okay? Just like and vice versa. But real quick, you guys. I want to just take a just snatch a little passage and everything from the Bible and everything to kind of help you know what I'm uh, talking about and everything. And that's when God had told Noah to build the ark. See, everybody laughed at Noah and everything. Because he spent hours and days and months and everything to build the ark and everything. But remember, he was doing what God told him to do. So that means he's in obedience. You guys, people will laugh at you. People will, will make fun of you and everything. Simply because you're doing what God told you to do. Because it don't make sense to them. But it makes sense to God. Okay? Always do what God tell you to do. Okay? Always do what God tell you to do. So long story short and everything, they laughed at Noah. Noah finally got the ark done and everything. But the funny thing is, when all that water came, when God destroyed the uh, world with water, it's awfully funny. They weren't laughing no more because it was banging on that damn door trying to get in. And that's how you that's how people are even nowadays okay they laugh at you and everything when you a bum on the street they laugh at you and everything because you ain't got the education that you need or you ain't got the amount of money you need and everything but please understand something the joke's gonna be on them because when god start blessing you and god start you know removing people out of your life that had no business being there in the first place and everything and they start seeing how good you're doing the joke's gonna be on them Okay? Revenge is best served with a cold dish. You ain't got to argue. You ain't got to fuss or fight with nobody. Just live the way God told you to. Do what God told you to. And I promise you, they the ones going to be end up with a sad look on their face. And life going to be laughing at them. 
So just make sure you guys understand that and everything you got. You got people out here. They figure that they're going to be rich forever. You, they figure they make all the business decisions. They make uh, all the money, all the contracts and everything. You guys, please understand something. We have former millionaires and former billionaires and everything that are homeless right now. You got people who have doctor degrees working a 10, 20 hour job. You got people and everything that ain't graduated from marketing school or computer technology school or whatever the hell and everything. They only making $10 an hour. So all that talk. And all that showboating and all that old proud looking and everything just to try to appease somebody or just to try to look good in front of people and everything, that shit ain't worth it. That's why I tell you people and everything, learn from, you'll learn enough from your boy, learn this and everything. Let people talk. Let people talk because those who talk don't know. Those who know don't talk. When people, when you know who you are, you don't worry about what some asshole call you. You don't, when somebody don't know your history, but they judge your present, therefore they try to predict your future, let them talk. They don't know no better. Let them laugh at you. Oh, he got hoes in his shoes. Oh, he driving a bummy car. Oh, he only he work at this job. Oh, he work at this restaurant and everything. Let them talk. Let them talk, you guys. Because I promise you, if you stay the course and you keep pursuing everything what God told you to do and everything, they gonna be the ones looking stupid. And you're going to be the one laughing straight to the bank, cashing that check. While they sitting there where and everything's still stuck on stupid and parked on dumb. Let people talk, y'all. Let people hate. Let people laugh at you. They laughed at the Hell, they made fun and laughed at Jesus. And he, Jesus' words and everything, shortly before he died and everything, he pretty much said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Translation. They don't know that I can come down from this cross and destroy every last one of them and throw every last one of them in hell. And it'd be a damn thing they can't do about it. That's what I'm saying, everything. They laughed at Jesus. Please understand something to my Christians here and everything. It ain't no damn religion and everything. Please understand something, everything. When you profess Jesus and you trying your best to live as close as you can to God, you ain't perfect, but you try your best to live close to God and everything. Please understand something, and you hear me well. Satan puts, so, Satan puts you on his hit list. That's what Satan does, because you're a threat to his kingdom. Please understand that he will use every tactic, every measure of, of anything to try to throw you off your game or try to take you out or destroy you. Don't ever forget that. You run around professing Christ and all that and everything. I'm telling you, Satan, gonna, he got a bullseye on you. He got you on the scope. So just letting you know that and everything. Another thing, you guys. When you find yourself everything lonely, you find yourself homeless, you find yourself uh, without people that love you and without care about you, uh, you find yourself and everything friendless and everything. People gonna laugh. People gonna make funny. People gonna mock you. People gonna clown you. Or in today's world and everything, people gonna clown you on social media. And people are going to say this and say that and everything. Let me, I'm going to give you an example, real life example. I had a, when I played basketball in high school, you guys, particularly in the ninth grade, it was there where I won my most approved trophy at and everything. They got lost in the rubble. We was moving constantly. But I had teammates and everything who thought they were better and everything. I had a coach and everything, particularly, he felt they were better and everything. People would clown me. Now, don't get me wrong. Ain't nobody never bullied me. Ain't nobody made me cry, run home, and everything. Ain't no none of that shit. Let's make sure we get that straight. But they were always, I was always an outcast in most environments I was in. Because I was different. And I always like to be different and everything. I don't follow the crowd, okay? I stand alone, okay? So they got to talking and everything because they, they did certain things that I didn't do. They got involved in certain things I didn't get involved in. So like I said, long story short, they clown me, laugh and everything, laugh about the way I shoot, because I shoot old school, okay? That's how I used to shoot. I still shoot like that to this day. Well, they shoot it all kind of other different ways. But my thing is, is this. They used to clown me. They used to get all the girls and all that and everything. Some of those people, some of those teammates that I had, some of them are dead right now. Some of them are dead right now. Other ones I've heard about are locked up. 
Other ones I done heard of and everything ain't doing too well. Drugged out. I got baby mama drama. In and out of jail. Looking at a 15, 20 year sentence in jail. And like I said, there's some of them are dead. I said that to say this. You may laugh at me now. You may clown me now. You may think you can judge me now. But I promise you in the end, I'll get the last laugh. Talk about me all you want to and everything. Say what you want, think what you want. Don't worry about what people say about me. Don't even worry about the facts. I'll tell y'all something else. Never, never worry about somebody's opinion. Only concern yourself with God facts about you. Only concern yourself with God say. Damn people. People gonna always run their mouth. Dogs gonna always bark at you. But it ain't till they try to bite you to become a problem. Same thing with a human being. Let people talk, y'all. Let people clown say what they want to say. Half of them can't even say this shit to your face. Because they ain't real enough. So that's what I tell you in everything. Just make sure, you guys, you keep things together. Let people laugh. People don't, don't let nobody bully you. I'm not telling you don't let nobody run you home or send you home. Ain't nobody never ran me home. And nobody never had me saying, Mommy, help me. No, think I'm bullshitting if you want to. You ask, you ask my mother, this ain't no tough guy talking. It's me speaking real shit to you. I ain't never been ran from anywhere. But I'm just telling you and everything. Make sure and everything that you just do what God tell you to do. Yeah, they was, they was calling Noah stupid. They said, Noah, you ignorant as hell. You been building a damn ark and everything. Pretty much, you know, a makeshift boat and everything. You been building a boat and everything. Ain't no damn water around. And that's something else I want to jump in and say. Please understand something. God already sees your future while you working and doing what he tell you to do in your present. That's why he tell you to follow his will. I'm going to say that again. God already see your future. He already know your destination. He already know how your life going to turn out. As long as you follow his will and do what it is he tell you to do, you're going to get right on to it. That's why I said don't let people laugh. Like I said, they were the same people that was clowning Noah, poking fun at him, mocking him, clowning him, making remarks and everything. They weren't talking shit when all that damn water was on the ground. They weren't talking that shit when they were screaming, help, 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 and everything they had finna drown. That's what I said. Use that same principle and everything, that same passage and everything. Use that same passage in your life. You may clown me now. You may mock me now. But don't mess around, let me be your boss one day. Don't, don't, don't mess around and everything, and I'll be the only person that can save your life one day. Because you don't know how shit going to turn out, neither do I. So I'm just telling you and everything. People will try to clown you because you're either different, because you talk different, you carry yourself different, and most importantly, you real and not phony, not commercial. You, you're being real. So let them talk, you guys. Don't get mad. You're saying, mm-hmm. Yeah, you clowning me now. Yeah, I know I work at this restaurant. I know I flip burgers. Mm-hmm. I know you clowning me. I know I drive a beat-up car right now. Okay, I know you clowning me. I know you making X amount of dollars. Now, I know you clowning me. But I ain't going to be like this for long, baby. Because God got a blessing for me. Watch what he do. When you see my ass rolling around and everything in an expensive car, when you see me pull up to my house and everything, let me know how funny shit is then. And you still stuck on stuck where you at. When you see me roll up with a beautiful wife and everything, you still dealing with baby mama drama. Let me know how shit work out for you. That's why I say that's how I've always been. Some shit you don't even need to dress. Just let your actions speak it. You don't even need to dress it. People kill me trying to try to talk shit about you. Try to clown you. Like I say, they weren't laughing at Noah. They weren't laughing at Noah and everything when all that water was on the ground. When that big ass tsunami came through there, they weren't laughing at Noah. He wasn't stupid then. <laughs> That's what I tell you. Let people talk. I don't care who it is, family, friends, man, woman, co-workers, whatever. Let them talk. I knew a guy and everything that uh, um a guy I used to work for and everything, he clowned me for leaving his company. Company, and if there was a Trista trucking company, clown me for leaving his uh, trucking company and everything, tell me I'd never find a job nowhere. Come on, I'll never be this, I'll never be that. I'm a terrible driver, I ain't shit, all that and everything. I just laughed at his ass and left out. Tell me, explain to me why I got a better job. 
paying more and his company is closed up. Mm. Shit ain't so funny now, is it? That's why I tell you and everything. Bullshit get old. That's why I said, keep focusing on what you're doing. God loves you. Just keep staying the path that God wants you to stay. And I promise you, you will get the last laugh. The joke's going to be on your enemy. The joke's going to be on your family or your friends. Who clowning you behind the scenes. Who making fun of you behind the scenes. Who ain't got time for you behind the scenes. It's awfully funny. Something else I wanted to tell you guys. Ain't it funny how when you don't have shit, you don't never hear from nobody? Ain't it funny when you don't have no money, how nobody want to be bothered with you? Ain't it funny when you don't have this together or that together, how nobody got time for you? But as soon as the Heavenly Father, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, start blessing you, where the hell are all these people coming from? You the same person that told me I wouldn't be shit. You the same person that was clowning me and everything. Now all of a sudden God started blessing me. Now you want a piece of the pie. It's amazing with me. You won't get in, you won't, they won't get, they won't get in the oven with you while God's trying to cook you and get you where you need to go. You know, trying to mold and shape you and everything until you get to go. Because Jesus is the master chef. He ain't gonna take you out before you uh excuse me. He ain't gonna take you out of the oven and everything until you're ready. And while you're in that oven and everything, he gotta let you go through some pain. He got to let you go through some rain. He got to let you go through people walking away, cheating on you, lying on you, accusing you of stuff, uh, ridiculing your name, messing you up and everything. He got to let you go through that. Don't worry. He ain't going to let you burn. And he ain't going to let you take you. He ain't going to take you out prematurely. He going to take you out just right out of the oven. But it's funny, though. Nobody is, nobody is going in that oven with you. Nobody hang with you, like I said, when you ain't got shit. But soon as God bless you, soon as he take you out of that oven, and place you on top, and now you smelling good, looking good, feeling good, got money good and everything. Now all of a sudden everybody want a piece of the pie. That's why I said phony shit. Make sure you check that shit and everything when it come your way. I keep telling you, I don't care if you're family, I don't care if you're friends. If I lose contact with you, simply because I'm being honest with you, simply because I'm telling you the truth, Simply because I'm being real with you and everything, I question was you even real in the first place with me as far as relationship. So it, it just makes you wonder and everything about some people. It just makes you wonder. But this Beretta 19, you guys, make sure when somebody laugh at you or try to make you, you know, feel less than a person around people. In other words, they try to put you down. They try to make themselves, you know, be bigger and be better. Just laugh at them. Just look at them. While they sitting there cracking jokes, everybody laughing at you and everything, just look at them. Don't, don't get mad. Don't get mad. Because you ain't gonna, you can't change how nobody feel about you. But just like Noah looked at him, saying, uh-huh, I'm an idiot for building this boat, huh? I'm an idiot for doing what God told me. Huh? Okay. I know, I know. Okay. Let me know when that flood come in. <laughs> and I'm already inside the ark. And your dumb ass, why everything, excuse me, why your dumb ass sitting out there about to drown. Then who's the dummy now? Like I said, the joke's on you. This is Beretta 19, you guys. Let them laugh. They laughed at Jesus. We got people nowadays mocking Jesus. Still doing it to this day. Mocking Jesus. Disrespecting Jesus. Talking about he ain't the real Messiah. Talking about you worshiping idol gods and everything. Keep doing that shit. Let me know. It ain't no damn religion. Let me know on Judgment Day when Jesus said, Bye-bye. And your ass get thrown in hell. Who the joke gonna be on then? It's gonna be on you. Spread of 19. Catch y'all in the next video. When they laugh at when they laugh at you and poke fun at you, just look at them. Don't forget it. Don't get mad. Just look at them. But in the end, the joke's gonna be on them. Take care.